1 Thessalonians 5, 16 and 17 are two of the shortest verses in the Bible. Altogether, four simple words, but in practice they seem to present us with an overwhelming challenge. Rejoice always and pray continually. First of all, how is it that we as Christians can rejoice always? Sure, we may find it easy when everything is going well, but we, will, we live in a world that is broken and fallen apart. We face broken relationships, jobs that don't work out like we planned, homes that have water pipes that break, and somewhere along the line, we end up with bodies that don't work as good as they used to. And yet Paul tells us to rejoice always. Like I said, this seems overwhelming. But it must be possible, otherwise Paul would not have said it. The seemingly impossible is made possible in that second short verse. Continual joy comes as a reality when we pray continually. Prayer is our connection to move the muscle of God. Whether we are alone or among a crowd, we have the full attention of our all-powerful God, a blood-bought privilege from all who put their faith on Jesus. One of the challenges I face, and maybe it's the same for you, is that I often neglect the conversational aspect of prayer. I think I have to do all the talking. So what James shared with us last month in the Christmas Unwrap series has really stuck with me. Prayer is where I mostly listen to God and God mostly listens to me. It's like spending time with your best friend. Neither one of you is talking all the time, but rather each is, contributes to the conversation. But you're both listening for the other to speak. Hebrews 5, 7 tells us that Jesus offered up prayers and petitions with fervent cries and tears to the one who could save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverent submission. We are not told what Jesus asked for in those prayers and petitions, but we do know that he prayed knowing that ultimately the Father would save him from death. And that's where our unceasing prayers brings us back around to unceasing joy. All the good, the bad, and the ugly of this world will be conquered as we too are saved from death. Prayer is our highway to praise, to repent, to give thanks, to pour out our needs, and to be still and listen to God. As you continue to engage in 21 days of prayer and fasting, may you too find unceasing joy through unceasing prayer. Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.